was a coup for Politico to land a two-hour interview with Lois Lerner, the former official at the heart of the scandal over the IRS targeting mostly conservative groups for special scrutiny. Lerner, of course, hadn't said anything since pleading the fifth. I respectfully exercise my Fifth Amendment right and decline to answer that question. But as part of the arrangement with Politico, Lerner wouldn't answer questions about the substance of the scandal. And the piece began with a strikingly sympathetic tone. Quote, employers won't hire her. She's been berated with epithets like dirty Jew. Federal agents have guarded her house because of death threats. Joining us now from Palm Springs, California, Rick Grinnell, former Bush administration spokesman, and in Los Angeles, Leslie Marshall, radio talk show host and Fox News contributor. All right, Rick, this was a big exclusive. I don't think many news organizations would have turned it down, but should Politico have agreed to the terms, knowing that Lois Lerner was not going to answer substantive questions about the IRS scandal? Well, I think they, they should agree to the interview. They don't necessarily have to publish it. I mean, if you send in a really good reporter, maybe you can get something out of the, the individual. And I think that should happen all the time. I mean, but what, what Politico did here and what Rachel Bade did is really conduct an interview and publish an interview that should have never been uh, put forward because it just wasn't newsworthy. It was kind of like interviewing Monica Lewinsky and not asking about her affair with the president. I mean, she, the, the uh, Lois Lerner had three lawyers in the room with her, and the most we got out was basically that she rescues stray dogs. I mean, it was a terrible interview. Well, Leslie, but we, it was, was it newsworthy in the sense that we found out, even from her own self-interested point of view, mm -hmm. what her life has been like, the fact that she and her husband have had to spend hundreds of thousands of dollars on legal fees, despite the gaping hole at the center, which was not talking about her role in the scandal? Oh, absolutely. I mean, you know, we all know in the media that if you interview somebody uh, with a big name, or certainly when their attorneys are, are flanking their side, uh, there is an arrangement that is made, which is you will not ask this. I mean, if you plead the fifth in D.C. Uh, before members of Congress, you're not going to have the big reveal uh, with Politico or anybody else. But I do think this should be published. There are things that I didn't know about her. Uh, not that we're saying, oh, this is a kinder, softer, gentler. Uh, but I think she reiterated, and for many people who may not have been aware of, why she did what she, sa she said she did, uh, why she maintains that, and quite frankly, a glimpse into uh, other facets of Lois Lerner. It's also a name that would get people uh, to, to Politico and to read this. Yes, and that is true. I, I, th I think they did the right thing. I think they did the right thing in doing that. You get a big name like that, you do what okay. you can, Let's go you back know to you're Rick. not going to be able to go certain places. Rick. Well, look, I don't think we found out anything, Leslie. What did we find out other than she, you know, is broke and she uh, rescues stray dogs? I mean, the, the heart of why she took the fifth is, is not answered here. So if there was some sort of interesting news, then I would say go ahead and publish it. But this was so sympathetic to a woman who took the fifth. And in Washington, I, here's the problem for me. It's Washington, D.C. media thinking that taking the fifth about going after Republicans with the IRS is just kind of, you know, not really something that you should investigate. I mean, you look at the Washington Post and others, they've known that this was a targeted uh, going after conservatives, and yet the investigation part oh. has completely been uh, a non-story. All right, well, in fairness, the piece did include some other reporting. I'm sorry to interrupt, Leslie. We're a little short on time uh, about what her colleagues thought of her, that she was short-tempered, that she would, could be difficult to deal with, but also kind of laid out what her defense might be. I want to move now to um, a website called Our Bad Media, which is...